What's going on my sexy YouTube fans? This is Chow King Jed or just Jed and I'm doing a vlog, video vlog for today for uh, Comic Con stuff. This one in particular I'm doing for all the Magic the Gathering artists I met down there. So I've been to plenty of conventions. I've actually been to Comic Con about five times now and this is the first time I've approached Magic the Gathering artist. So I know their names, but I don't know what they look like. So that can get uh, particularly confusing, especially if they're like with Rebecca Guy. This, for instance, you guys will see. Hi! I'm looking for Rebecca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea which one was Rebecca so if you guys are doing something similar like this make sure you guys find out who's who and then go with the video so will you like to just say hi to the fans magic the gathering I know you you have a big fan base and uh, I love your work as well so I just wanted to say hi I was trying to catch as many uh, artists as I can and I forgot all my cards, so. <laughs> but I just wanted to say hi, and uh, your work is awesome, and everybody loves you, so. <laughs> Alright. Yay! Yep, that's really fun. She seems like an awesome, awesome person. Uh, very, very pretty in real life, so. Make sure you guys say hi to her. She's really nice, and. I think she was the only one. I bought pieces from everybody and I think she was the only one I couldn't buy a piece from because we were getting ready to leave the con I just wanted to get a quick video of her so Rebecca I'm sorry I didn't get to buy any of your pieces but I'm a big fan so please don't be mad at me uh, the next time I see you I'll make sure to buy at least two of your pieces so this is just me apologizing. Uh, next one actually Ron Brown. I uh, met him I think the third day or I believe it was the third day of the con. <laughs> But I saw, I think it's called Tatterkite, uh, that piece from far away, and I just approached him. And the guy's really cool, awesome. He also did, I think the biggest one that I like is Cauldron of Souls. So, hey, Mr. Ron Brown, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. I was just uh, around the con and uh, filming all of the. Uh, you know, magic artist and uh, saying hi. And, uh, just see, you know, what do you guys want to tell everybody? Say hi back, I guess. Sure. Hi, everybody. Yeah, but um. Hello from Comic Con 11. Yeah. Um, I know, like you only have like few pieces, but are you? Do they? Do they? Do you have to approach wizards, or do they approach, or do you? Do they approach you when you make pieces? The art saw my work here. So, oh, so you had like, you had a, like a, a booth basically. Oh, and then the wizards just came over like, hey, you want to do one? Oh, that's awesome. All right, cool. Um, so there you go, guys. If you're uh, an artist, just set up a booth and maybe wizards will have you work on some stuff. That's super awesome to meet you. That's uh, Ron Brown, guys. Really, really cool guy. Um, just from the looks of it, I think he's just starting out making pieces for for Magic. Uh, I bought uh, Cauldron of Souls from him, and it, one of my favorite cards for EDH. So I had to get it signed. For this next one, it was Christopher Moeller. I, I saw him first talking with Alexander Gregory, or the Alexander Gregory. If uh, you don't know, he did. I think my favorite piece from him, or Alexander Gregory, was 
Curse Scroll and Gifts Unforgiven, those were my favorite pieces for him. Um, recently, I believe he did uh, the new Chandra Jason Garrick, so I believe they were talking about that. I don't have that on video, so don't ask. Anyway, uh, I had to just come back to uh, Christopher Muller's booth and then talk to him. Hey guys, uh, this is Chris Moeller and... First thing, I don't know why I was calling him Chris Moeller like he's my best buddy or something. So I wish, I, again, make sure you, you talk to them and ask them, you know, what's okay and what's not okay. So hopefully Christopher Moeller sees this. Uh, didn't mean to call you Chris, like, so casually, so, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm kicking myself because I forgot all of my cards. <laughs> so, so, Jed is your name? Yes, sir, yes, yes sir. Alright, so what do you want to ask, Jed? Oh, I just wanted to, you know, I think you, you're probably one of the bigger, uh, Magic the Gathering artists out there. How many well, pieces? Well, at this point, I'm one of the older guys here. Oh, yeah. I started with, uh, uh, Urza Saga. Was there it? So it's funny because I mean I was always I was always one of the young kids. Oh really? Yeah. Like from way well, back when? Like back when I started. Oh you know, wow. When the old guy, old man. So. Oh. Pretty awesome, and you can tell that he's just a professional when it comes to things like these because he's he knew what to say and uh, kind of easy to talk to. At first I was very you know uh, at first I was very nervous, but. You know, after talking to him and, and seeing how you know cool and laid back he was, he, he's actually a pretty nice guy. So I know for me, definitely speaking to these guys first was very intimidating. But once you get talking to them, letting them know how how much of a big fan you are, you know they're really they're really gracious about it. So you know, just if you see them, just make sure you say hi and let them know uh, how much you appreciate their work. Is, is there a big difference now? Because I was just talking to Ron Brown and he said like, you know, he had a booth up here and um, Wizards approached him, emailed him like, hey, can you do a mean, piece for us? Like, mean, how, how did he get started with it? He, yeah, I, like for I you. I actually was here, I've been here since 94, I think, or 96. And I remember uh, for Urza Saga, um, Ron Spears was the art director. Mm -hmm. And Brom, was a, I knew Brom and he introduced me to Spears, that's how I got work. So it was out of here too. Oh, awesome! Yeah. All right, cool. Is there like, since you're 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 a big name, like, do they just kind of like, hey, we kind of want a piece that, you know, that pretty much is your style? Is that is that how it goes now, or do you go? Well, no, they, they'll just send me. I mean, I've done enough cards, and then they'll just send me. You know, and that's how they work with everybody, pretty much. They'll oh. send you a, an email. Are you? Oh, go ahead. Pieces and these are the descriptions. Okay. So you're you're kind of like a like a go-to artist. Are you you're not really somebody they would like go. Uh, I guess like a an em would you be an employee or not no, really? No, no. We all we all are freelancers. We all have our own company. Oh, right? okay. So I'm all our illustrations. And, oh, excellent. And uh, so I work for them, and I'll work for a comic company, and I'll work for uh, Blizzard doing Warcraft game, and I'll work for you know I've started people from Yu-Gi-Oh. I might be doing Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, really? Wow, they, they've actually approached you, or? Yeah, I was talking to them today. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, you, you, the, the, the way it works is, you know, you work basically with anybody you want to. You know, it's, it's, cool. Uh, well, that, thanks a lot for, for all of it, and all right. it's so great to meet you. Okay, the next artist is RK Post. and He's actually the first artist I approached in the convention, uh, the second day, I believe. And he is actually a really, really funny guy. If you don't know his work, He's the one that did all the avatars, like Avatar Wu is the most popular one. Uh, you got Avatar Fury and Morphling, I think, is one of his biggest pieces because that card is super popular from way back when. So, yeah, I got to see him and always been a big, big fan of his work. But after actually talking to the guy, he easily one of the funnier funnier people I've uh, I've met as far as like popular people oh man this is RK Post he's one of the coolest Magic the Gathering artists ever <laughs> there you go that's, that's my smile yeah it's just a blast to talk to actually now I get to see this because I've always been so confused with Avatar Fury like yeah <laughs> I'm looking at this I'm like 
Because I'm thinking, is he facing that way? Like, facing that I know it doesn't face. His body's that way, his head's that way, and his, uh, his junk is that way as well. <laughs> this, this is his junkular region. Yeah. Um, that's his head. <laughs> these, these are his teefers right yeah. there. And uh, he's got extra arms. But some are kind of useless. <laughs> so he doesn't shower with these. He showers with these guys right here. I guess this can kind of segue into the next piece because uh, him and Jason Felix, uh, I guess, are, are very good friends from what it looks like. And uh, <laughs> every time I talk to RK, you know, talk to his, or every time somebody goes up to his booth, I guess, and uh, talks to him and whatnot, he sends all the other folks to Jason Felix's uh, booth and. Uh, Makes, makes him flip Jason off just to see his reaction and from the looks of it Jason was very very he's a very big sport so he's not easily offended hopefully you guys are too uh, I'm gonna make sure to put this in the in the video and I actually asked him to uh, see if it's okay <laughs> for them to be <laughs> flipping the camera off and whatnot so hopefully when they review this they'll be okay with it Hey, Jason, Jason Felix? Miss, Mr. Felix, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's over 30 or anything like that. And uh, here I am t calling him Mr. Jason Felix, like he's an angry neighbor next door, you know, yelling at kids and stuff. I was over at uh, RK Post's uh, booth, <laughs> and uh, he told me to give you one of these. <laughs> Do you have anything to say back? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He got. He had the crazy, the reaction that you were That's saying. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was. <laughs> he he did have a message though. So. Oh okay. Like the double deuce. <laughs> so yeah. Now rewatching this video, and uh, editing them out with everybody. Looks like I, I talked to everybody, you know, and I told them. How great they are and, and whatnot. With Jason, I just kind of told Jason hi, what's up, and then flipped them the birds. So I'm really sorry, but it was RK's fault and he made me do it because I remember specifically he put a gun <laughs> on my head and told me to, or else I would be in trouble. Nah, I'm just kidding too, by the way. RK is uh, just an awesome guy and he has that weird mystique about him that uh, hypnotizes you and makes you do silly things so uh, all in all it was really fun I love talking to everybody there were a lot more people out there I believe Todd Lockwood was out there too he did uh, Sun Titan and was the only one that comes to mind I know I saw his booth but I didn't have enough time to, to speak with him tried to look for Alexander Gregory again as well or the Alexander Gregory and uh, couldn't find him either, so oh well, well, we'll get him next time, guys. Hopefully, I can get to do more of these, depending on how the artist liked it, and uh, they give me good feedback. I'll I'll make sure to try to see if we can go to more events and uh, talk to them some more, and uh, I'll make sure to put all of their websites and emails or their fan sites and whatnot. The description I'm not sure if the description is this way I it's probably down here where my crotch area is description is gonna be below you guys feel free to visit their websites let them know what's up and uh, who sent you there and hopefully we can get to talk to everybody again uh, alright guys uh, sorry about that my camera died on me as I was finishing up that last segment uh, real quick before my camera dies again, uh, many thanks to Rebecca Guy. <sighs> I'm always having trouble with this. Many thanks to Rebecca Guy, Ron Brown, Christopher Moeller, uh, RK Post, and Jason Felix. They're awesome. Hopefully, I wish I could have seen more of them. But again, thank you for letting me make this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys visit their websites. Uh, as I said, I will be posting a link of them on the description. And uh, I hope you guys had fun at the con. And there's many more videos that I have. And hopefully I can post them up soon. See you guys later. Oh, 
Oh, one more thing before I leave. Speaking of RK Post, this piece, I don't know if you guys, hopefully, I don't know if it's too far or too close, but um, he, I drew Avatar, well, if you guys see in the video, I was asking how, you know, what the heck was going on with Avatar, well, now that I know that he specifically drew it to where his face was, drawn, or he was, his head was going the other way and his body was going the other way, uh, I thought, you know, I'd make my own little avatar, not avatar, well, avatar fury, I'm sorry, avatar fury, and uh, I drew, I just drew the head, and I was, it's kind of weird because <laughs> I was, I was hoping that, uh, I wasn't really expecting him to make a, a minotaur body, I was thinking that he'd make uh, another snake dragon thing, but this was actually really, really cool, and if you guys see, uh, dear eBay, RK Post did not do the head, so <laughs> I can't make money off of this piece. Arg. But easily one of the best things I own, and uh, pretty proud of it.